Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Sam Baluby video. In this video, I'm going to be refurbishing this Nintendo Game Boy. It's in quite a dire need of some attention because it is really dirty. As you can see, it's got all like dirt. All of this is dirty. I cleaned the top off with a bit of IPA and it's come out really nice compared to that. So I think if I just give this some attention and properly clean it, it will come out really well. So, let's get straight on with the video. Okay, so to save a tiny bit of time, I've already disassembled this. Now, this Game Boy has never actually been opened before. And I'm I'm sure that it has never been opened because none of the screws are stripped. One of them looked like it was, but the rest didn't. So, yeah. The Game Boy itself is very grubby. But I think it will be good after the repair because i mean look at all the dirt in the speaker and the the speaker does through the little speaker grill it doesn't look that dirty and none of the screws on the back of here are really stripped so yeah what i'm going to do is what i normally do um, which is just take everything out of the shell take like the the shield off battery contacts and i'm just going to put the shell in the water so yeah let's get on with the disassembly so to start the disassembly of this back bit where the screen is or front bit whichever one um you need to remove approximately forty thousand screws but i won't bore you with that so i'll cut to when i've done this okay so this is the last screw here and then i've undone all of them there is a lot of screws holding this back board in or front board whatever you want to call it and you usually the way i do it is just wiggle them a little bit because there's a, a bit of like adhesive or glue holding the screen on and then usually it just pops up like that sometimes you have to get like a little tool or something just to help it a bit because they do get quite stuck especially if there's a lot of grime underneath them and yeah this isn't too bad the the board looks in good condition speaker isn't that grubby yeah i see no real damage to the board just from probably clean up the contacts and which the select button doesn't work so which one is that or start button i mean so yeah, that button there, but that looks fine. So it's probably just need to clean this, this little membrane part up. So yeah, if you can see that on the camera, you see all like the shiny bit. That's like a layer of thin oxidization. And if you literally get like a piece of paper um, and rub it, that layer of oxidization comes off and then the contact is no longer shiny and you don't want them to be shiny because then they won't um like move or like um they won't press properly if they've got that the a and b buttons are quite dirty d-pad one looks all right um oh geez that looks disgusting look at that that's just on the back of the A, A button. Actually, I'll put the buttons in here. When you take one of these apart, always remember to keep your screws organised. And oh god, look at the D-pad. Look at all that dirt and grime on it. And look at all of that in there. The screen lens fell off of this, so I don't have to push that off. But... I might put a replacement one on, or I might put the original one on, and it looks like there's a bug. Like, the remains of a bug. Which, that is, that's quite nasty. Let's just put that to the side. Yeah, so, this Game Boy is pretty grubby, but, like I said, I think it will turn out well. So... I'll disassemble the back bit now. Okay, I'm on the last screw here now. 
So let's just undo that. When you're taking apart one of these, always keep your screws organized. So put all of the back, this back bit, um, screws in one and put all the front boards screws in this. They're are they aren't actually all the same size but it will it will just be good to keep all of them organized so yeah now that you've got all these screws on done you can just gently lift out this board obviously remove batteries before if you've got batteries in it but the board should just wiggle out and on the back here is all of the chips as the cpu and um these are probably something like RAM. Not really sure what the chips do, but I know that one's GPU. There is a bit of like gunk on the back of the cartridge, but that should be fine. So both the boards look okay. I never tested if the headphone jack works, so I should probably do that. And interestingly enough, it looks as if there, there's like a thing. It looks a bit like a fingerprint, but it's probably not that i don't really know what it would be oh yeah um so i don't know if you've done that oh yeah the power switch will fall out that can just go with the buttons and then you need to remove the cartridge shield and the back contact. so once you've removed all the screw four screws from the back of the cartridge shield um it will just come off this is just a big metal plate essentially and it just stops the cartridge from hitting this all of these little components do remember to keep your screws organized because these screws are actually smaller also to remove the battery contacts what you want to do is you want to get a flathead screwdriver and if you see i've removed two of them but you see there's like the little clip there you want to get the your screwdriver push push the contact back get your screwdriver and push down that little tab and you'll hear it click and then the battery contact will just fall out um if your battery contacts are like corroded or they have battery leakage on um which mine don't this all looks good what you want to do is either clean it up with some ipa or what i do is just get like a little cup of vinegar and put the battery contacts in vinegar and leave them for like five ten minutes and that will clean them right up so that's everything from the back. Oh, there's another bug. Oh, that scared me. I thought that moved. Uh, that is definitely sounds of a bug if my camera focuses. Try and get it to focus. No, that doesn't want to focus, but that is disgusting to have two remains of a bug inside of this so so what i'm going to do now is now that i've got all of this like fully disassembled is just going to put it in the sink with some hot soapy water put the car i'm going to put the cartridge shield and all the buttons in um don't put the battery contacts in because there's not really a point of uh, putting them in water won't make it won't make like a difference it won't do anything but i'm going to go put this in the hot soapy water now and i'll be back soon bye and now time for the montage Okay, I hope you liked that kind of montage type thing. It was my first time trying something like that, so I hope it looks good and I hope you guys liked it. You can tell me in the comments um whether you liked it, think thought it was good. I'd be quite appreciated. One thing I did have to do with this though is you'll notice I've got all the buttons in the shell here. 
except for the D-pad and start and select. I'm actually going to replace them because the D-pad is incredibly worn on that other one. And the start and select buttons are yellow. And this Game Boy has come out extremely nice. And I think it will be a bit of a letdown to have like the shell almost as white as it was when it came out of the factory. To have yellow start and select buttons and a worn D-pad. So I, I have this one. This is a completely yellowed one, which is just my parts one. It's got horizontal lines going across the screen. The back motherboard doesn't actually play games it runs the games and then it crashes but it takes you to like binary it genuinely took me to a screen that was like ones and zeros once and it's missing that battery contact i think it got broken at some point i can't really remember but as you can see compared to that this is this show was quite yellowed and this one is really white in the last video where i showed off this my boxed one I showed my mint condition Game Boy. Now, this shell is literally whiter than this one. So, you never know. This one may become my my best one. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, the first thing I'm going to do is just put all the battery contacts back in. A couple of them... Well, a couple of them got a bit damaged during some point because... I'm not really sure why, but they, they did. They, they've got, like, the springs on them have got a bit bent. Yeah. Um, the way I do it is I just get my screwdriver and bend this, like, peg back out. And then they just slide down. And you'll hear that little click. I just do that with all of them. So, yeah. Like, you'll hear the click this time. That. That just little click means that they're in properly. Um, yeah, so I'll get back to you when I've put in all the stuff. Okay, before I put the back screws in, I put, like, the two in the battery thing. Just test if it works. And, oh, you're kidding me. There's a line missing. There is a line missing. Oh, great. Back apart again. Cue the montage. <laughs> So, this is the Game Boy restoration finished. The line on the screen is now gone. The start button works fine. Can't see it that well. They both work very well. Let's just clean the screen. Um, what I will say though is, I think the thing that will finish this off perfectly is a new screen lens on this. So, let's get this off. You can actually get it. There you go, and that's the front one. Yep. It will just finish it perfectly. Make sure there's nothing under the screen because I don't want to have to take this apart again. There. Now the satisfying part when we peel back this this protective film. Actually, I'm a bit hungry. Have a biscuit uh mm, I love you oh man that chocolate biscuit all over it no oh, mm. actually let's probably leave this down it will but just protect it won't it yeah there you go perfect so this is the game boy it is fully working and yeah I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.